Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we'll be going to an event. And, like it's this event that has like a really cool exhibition. It's like main item for where it goes. So I'm excited to see about it. It looks pretty cool. I've seen some pictures online just to see how it is. It looks pretty cool. So let's go into the that event and see all the Legos. I believe it has been inspired by like the African Kingdom, the land of the undead. I believe that's what it has been inspired by, and the way how he made it was so is really cool. So I'm excited to see the Lego event. So let's just get to it. Okay, guys. So I don't know where exactly it is. I just know it's on the second floor, but I'm sure we can find it somewhere. So like you can see we are here, it's pretty cool, so this is what's it called, so it looks really cool. So this is just explaining like how he made it, why he made it. Creating work that is about an intrepid expedition mm -hmm. for science and discovery, that to me was important to bring to the forefront. Some evidence suggests that they did go as far as Central and South America. The details are a little bit foggy and because historically abdication is not looked upon with favor, so there wasn't a lot of historical documentation about someone giving up their empire to go across the sea and never to come back. But that's okay because I flourish in the speculative realm. You know, I love to fill in the gaps. I love mythology and the idea of mythology, which is that it's not exactly true, but it could be, you know, and in that realm, that's where I get to really reimagine things like Asamando, which is bringing in aspects of Jungian and Akan beliefs around the land of the dead or where the ancestors and Samang folk, where they dwell, knowing that there was like serpent worship across the continent in Ghana. It looks well, pretty cool. Like, like all of that is made from Lego. Like so I thought, okay, before my research, I've never heard of Asamando as this um, Akan land of the dead. But if it was this city, what would it look like? So the idea came to me to create something that was very serpentine and just very fantastical. That happened with all of the works, really. It was taking an element of some historical fact and just expanding on that while introducing new narratives around like my vision for what could have happened on this journey. Any wild stuff. It looks really cool, like, I don't know how he made it. It looks so cool. Like, even the ships, how the details. It's kind of reminds me of Aquaman too. Like just that whole setting you have to fight. I 
I missed one. <laughs> but it looks so cool. All the details. So just some context. It's very cool. Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't bad. I just wish there was more. I really like the Legos, like it was so cool to see how he made it. But I wish there was more. But there is next exhibition. I kinda overheard and it's coming in June, so I am going. So yeah. But I think that'll be it for this vlog. I know not much happened. I wish I had a little bit more models. But it still looks cool. I think it, it still looks nice. But yeah. I know it's so noisy. I'm sorry. But if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. So you'll be notified of every time I post. And that's Candy. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.